now i want to display four character length employee names i don't know what are the characters i don't know what is the beginning character what is ending character just i want to display four character length employee names each character see in the where class you need to write like this e name like open the single quotes four characters each character represented by one underscore simple so here you are going to display select e name from emp where e name like four underscores then it will display the employee names having four character length next what is percentage get employee names containing the character i get employee names containing the character i here it will display the values like this ford king next next one is select employee names having the character i within the name select e name from emp where e name like c before i any number of characters after i any number of characters no spaces between i and percentage symbols then it will get all employee names having the character i so see here it will display like this simpson yes smith yes something swati yes it will display all values maybe i position is at anywhere in the middle of the name at the beginning of the name or at the end of the name it won't bother about the position of i next what are negation operators if you don't want to look for a specific range of values get all employee details who is not getting 2000 to 5000 salary means i want to get employee details who is getting below 2000 salary above 5000 salary means you don't want to support a specific range if you don't want to support a specific range then use not between you need to specify not between if you don't want to look for specific values i want to get all customer details except the customers from texas and dallas except the customers from texas and dallas then use not in you are avoiding some specific values at the place of in operator you need to use not in and next already we have discussed about is null suppose i want to get all employee names which are not having a character i in that case not like operator you need to use these are the relation negation operators then let me go through the logical operators okay we have done with so many as select queries in each select query you are specifying only one condition at a time you are specifying only one condition if you want to check multiple conditions within a table on different columns then what i have to do so and operator or operator it returns output if all conditions are true all conditions are true then it returns output or operator it returns output if any one condition is true five conditions you are specifying on a table all conditions are false except one condition in that case or operator will display output from that record whereas and operator so always it will check every condition must be true in your record suppose if you are checking for three conditions three conditions must be true for each record if it is doing like that then only it will get the output otherwise it won't display any output to you yeah see example display clerk's details with minimum salary 1100 display clerk's details with minimum salary 1100 you are looking for clerks first condition and you are looking for minimum salary second condition see select star from emp 
where job of employee is equal to clerk and salary minimum 1100 means greater than or equal to 1100 minimum 1100 maximum at anything no problem next get laptop details having the cost below 30,000 get laptop details so you are checking product name and cost select star from product details where what is the product name you are considering laptop and what was the cost the record should contain the value product name value laptop and the cost of the product below 30,000 less than 30,000 then only display the details otherwise don't get so here you are specifying multiple conditions and and operator is looking for every condition should be satisfied it should be every condition result should be true then only it will display the output and one more thing you have to remember about and operator is see like this you are specifying uh, some list of conditions and the joint date of the employee is below uh, 01 john 10 okay and the manager code should be in this list so either 7506 7788 or so and so some other 7979 okay one two three four four conditions you are specifying under single query in this case at which case you will get the output see here if first condition returns true it is taking first record in the first record first condition is true then it will check the second condition if second is also true okay then it will go for the third condition third condition was failed then it doesn't check the last condition why because you are having and operator and operator get the output if all conditions are true in the conditions list if any one condition was failed then the rest of the conditions it won't check why because even it has checked it's a waste of time it's a degradation of the performance of the query why because and operator always looking for true under each condition result if anyone was failed it stops the checking of the conditions it will go for the next record and it can start from the beginning of the condition okay but in case of our operator a condition may be true or false let us see if the first condition is false then it will check for the next condition if the next condition is also false then it will check the third condition if the third condition is true then it will it can skip the rest of the conditions why because our operator always needs at least one true once it got that true then it will skip the other conditions why because our operator will display result if any one condition is true this is the shortcut executions of the and and or see i want to display male customers from Texas and female customers from Dallas male customers from Texas and female customers from Dallas yeah I need the data males from Texas city okay and females from Dallas how do I check this see select start from you are looking in the table customer details where gender of the customer is equal to male and that male person should be from the city Texas here this is one set of conditions should be true in a record then that record will be fetched yeah or if the record is having the gender value female and 
that female should be from the city Dallas. This is another set of conditions should be verified against each record. If any set of conditions, any one set is true in a record, then that record will be fetched. So many people can try to specify and operator here. It is impossible. Don't try to specify like this. You will not get any output. Why? Because you are checking these two conditions are true. And again, these two conditions must be true. If a customer is gender, that is impossible to him to become as a female. If a customer is a female, that is impossible to her to become as male. Okay, here you are, if you specify under operator, you are looking for a male and female. It's impossible. Right? And next one, if a customer is from a city, Texas, then he should not be from other city. And if a customer is from Dallas, he should not be from Texas. At a time, the customer is not from multiple cities, only from one city. That's why you need to specify or operator. Okay? So, the control will check the set of two conditions. First set of two conditions should be true in your record. If it was failed, then it will verify for the next set of two conditions in the same record. If anyone is satisfied, then it will display that record. If no one is satisfied, it won't display that record. So that's all for today. Here we have seen about all operators, arithmetic, relational, relation negation, and special operators, and last, finally, <coughs> logical operators. That's all. Thank you.